Originally, I was not going to do this video, but I've gotten so many comments asking for it that you guys have changed my mind. So today, I'm going to rank every single Wu set, and I'm going to do my best to make this video longer than two minutes, because Wu barely has any sets. But before we begin, let's go over a couple things. First off, if you don't know the rules on these lists, TV show portrayal will not matter, and price also will not matter. Also, I have decided not to include the Destiny's Bounty on this list, as it's more of a team set than a Woo set. We did debate on this for a little bit, and there were some arguments to be made that it could be a Woo set, but ultimately, we put up a community tab poll, and this just wasn't even close. The Spinjitsu Dojo was the original Monastery set from all the way back in 2011, and I actually think it holds up pretty well 12 years later. From purely aesthetics, I think it still looks good, and I have no issues whatsoever with it. There's also a ton of functions all over this build. On the right side, there's a chain to swing over some lava, which leads into some rotating blades, with some studs on the wall above to attach minifigures to, and there's even a flick fire missile at the very end of it. The left side is similar, with a chain being used to swing over some spikes this time, and there are two axes that you can push down and get another flick fire missile. But the main function on this set is that the middle section you can actually push down the shuriken of ice and it pops up the floor, which I do think is pretty cool. I definitely do think this set would have benefited from having some more space for minifigures, but overall I still think this is a very good set for its time. Now this is a set I think some people might disagree with me putting on the list, but I think this is definitely a Wu set, because the whole point of this set is that Wu and Garmanon are supposed to battle, and then Wu is supposed to get thrown over, hence the name Master Falls. Also, if I didn't count this set, it would literally be four sets, so just l let me have this one. Now they don't do a lot of these smaller location sets, but I feel like they're always really great, and this is definitely one of my favorites of this style. I love how they made it so there are attachment points all over the set for minifigures from the steps to the cave and even the handrails. They all just have places you can put people in and it makes it a very dynamic battle arena. There's also a cage so you can put the loser in there. And just overall, this is a super playable set even though it is smaller than most sets like it. Speaking of great small sets, we have Wu's Battle Dragon. This is a set which is an absolute masterclass in making the most out of what you were given. This set was obviously not given the budget as a lot of the other dragon sets, but the designer still did a great job making it feel like it's so much more. The wings on this set are massive and I think they look great which really helps make this set feel like it's more than it actually is. There's also a full on saddle build with a spot for Master Wu's staff and rider chains incorporated into it which is something a lot of the bigger dragon sets don't even manage to pull off. And the pieces they use to build this set up just really help make this thing feel very detailed. I especially love the use of the battle droid torso pieces on the legs which is something that I never would have thought about but they look great. Even the brick built head on this set looks great even though it doesn't use that many pieces. So yeah, even though this set is small, there's just so many good things about it. This is the first and the biggest of Wu's dragons. Now I did kind of talk about this a little bit in the Zane video, but I really like when they lean into incorporating aspects of the characters into these sets beyond just their elemental powers and color schemes, and out of every Wu set, this is the one which I think really encapsulates that more than any other set. The head has the mustache built in which I think looks really good, and it really does help match it up with Wu and his iconic beard. The set also has a spot for a teapot built into the saddle, and there's even a spot included for two cups built into the bottom part of the torso, which I think is really cool, and that's all removable too so you can have a little tea party on the side. But even looking past that stuff, this is still a great dragon. I really like the use of the CCBS flame pieces on the wings, I think they look really really nice, and they bring a texture to the set, which it otherwise would not have had, which was a very smart move. I also think it's cool how the underside of the set is super smooth and well covered up, and it really helps complete the look of the set and give it more of an elegant feel. Once again, this is another set that just has so many things well done within it. And then of course, my favorite Wu set is the Legacy Monastery. This is a set which to me is pretty much perfect. The one complaint that I've seen from some people is that it is missing the giant walls on the side, so there's a gap in the middle, but I've never really minded that because the set is designed in a way so that you can connect both the builds together and it still looks great that way, so I don't really mind that you have the option to pull 
the front out and have more space for your minifigures because you can just push it back in and it looks good. Just like the original set, this one is packed with a bunch of functions like swinging blades, training dummies, and then a full-on launching chicken. And then of course the set, it just looks great capturing everything the monastery is and ever needed to be. My personal favorite thing out of all the detailing has to be the murals, which is something they didn't need to do, but they did and they look really nice. This of course is another all-time great set. 